Hey guys, welcome back to Veloxi Technologies. In this lecture, we are going to talk about how the project onboarding does happen, what is SOW and what is SLU. To understand this one, let's take an example that a client come up with a problem statement. Problem statement nothing but he is already running some applications. He found some issues that need to be solved by us or else he might come up with a new requirement. Nothing but he is starting a new business and he need help from the IT. Okay, so he come up to a IT company or a software company. Now this company has to provide the solution for this client. So in this case, what will happen? This IT company or software company assign a team to the client. This team we will call it as a project management team. This project management team understand the client requirement and there will be a multiple discussions will happen and they come up with a solution. Okay. So while providing a solution, even project management team asks about the budget. So based on the budget, the solution will be provided. Now this solution is accepted by the client or he may ask for some alterations or changes to the solution. Based on that, again, it may be vary. So once this is finalized and this should be freezed. So freezed nothing but whatever is agreed by the project management team, it has to be delivered to the client. Even client should not come and ask that, okay, I need something extra. So there could be some record where this solution is updated. That is where SOW comes into the picture. SOW stands for scope of work. What is the work we need to deliver as part of this solution? So that it will be easy for the client to refer while delivering the project even for project management team. So this SOW should be freezed at the starting of the project. But most of the cases client may come up with a new requirements once even though SOW is freezed and there could be alterations or changes to the SOW okay that is accepted and uh, based on the budget changes. So once this is done we need to start working on the project. But how many days it will take? Is it days, weeks, months, years? You need to somewhere tell them that right? It doesn't mean that, okay, I have agreed to deliver the project. I will deliver after five years. So there could be some certain timeline. Those timelines also we need to track under SOW. These timelines we will call it as a SLS. SLS stands for service level agreement. Now you have agreed to deliver this project, but what you are going to deliver and uh, what is the timeline you are going to take to deliver this project that we call it as a SLS. It could be weeks, months, even years based on the solution how big solution you are providing and what is the urgency of the solution to understand this one better i am going to explain about one of our client they are developing a new application and they need a devops solution so we are responsible to deliver the project so we had a multiple discussions with the client and we come up with a sow i will just show you the sow then sls as well so if you see the scope of work these are the points we have mentioned that we are agreed to deliver. So as part of this one, we are using various tools like Bitbucket, Jenkins, Artifactory, even Kubernetes, and we need to write code as a pipeline, branching and versioning. All these things we need to implement as part of the solution. Now, while delivering our project, he will validate all these points has been delivered as part of the project or not. If something is not delivered, he has a right to ask us to work on the specific task. Even he is looking for some additional extra work apart from what we agreed, we can able to charge extra. So it will be helpful for the both the parties. Now, what is the timelines we need to agree for this one? That is also we need to mention in this one. And you can see here assumptions also mentioned because they come and said that Jenkins is already installed, JFrog is already installed. So we didn't include these in our scope of work. If they come and say that again, okay, you should install Jenkins, we don't agree because it is not as part of the scope of work and we are already mentioning in the assumptions so that even he cannot blame us while delivering the project. Next approach, how we are delivering this project? We are delivering this project in two phases. In phase one, it will take three to five days and these are the tasks we need to complete it. And in phase two, the duration could be around three weeks. These are the tasks we should deliver. And we have also mentioned the project cost, but usually project cost won't be mentioned in the SOW. But uh, 
If it is a small project, yes, that's okay to mention it. It's up to you what should come over here. Even payment methods also we have mentioned. This is how the SOW and SLS works. And there are other ways also we are going to use SLS that we are going to discuss in our monitoring lecture. In next video, I am going to discuss about how the monitoring does happen. There we are going to see what are the other ways we are going to mention SLS. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video.